is my prime demographic. <laughs> which is people who know what a prime demographic is. <laughs> I moved here from Portland, Oregon uh, with the goal of being homeless in a warmer place. <laughs> Worked out nicely. Um, Portland's a very progressive place. Yes, we take it a little too far. My nephew's grade school just banned fruit punch because it sounds like a hate crime. <laughs> Whenever you move to Hollywood, no matter where you're from, people always give you that same line, right? They go, hey, look out for those broken dreams. <laughs> Oh, they think that broken dream stuff is hilarious, don't they? It's not. Joke's on them. Due to the sedative nature of my antidepressants, I don't have dreams. That is a Portland white person thing to say. Portland's so white, Ikea almost skipped us. They were like, do you really need us? I need you. I love Ikea. Arrows on the floor. Secret passageways. Big blue bags full of little yellow pencils. Swedish meatballs. Ektorp. Those are all the parts to an Ikea joke. Some people call that a smart joke. I'm like, if I'm so smart, why did I get a psychology degree? <laughs> Any other wasted degrees out there? Who's wasting a degree right this very moment? Boom! Would you... Film studies? At least you went to the one city in America where it's only kind of a terrible idea. Welcome, congratulations. Did they convince you that that would be a useful thing to study? Yeah, you, you couldn't finish English, all right. Yet here you are talking, you seem natural. <laughs> they convinced me psychology would be a good degree to get because they have psychology degrees. <laughs> so I got one and then they went, psych. <laughs> Joke's on them, they'll actually learn some stuff. For instance, when a good-looking girl at the bar walks away from her drink, leaves that drink unattended. You know what kind of pill a thoughtful Dr. Dax drops in there? A placebo. <laughs> this is a little bit sweeter now, just like you. Welcome to the control group, Stacy. <laughs> Nothing happens in the control group, right, nerds? It's the safest place to be. I'm just setting a baseline with you statistically. That's what I love about science. It sounds horrifying even when nothing is happening. Nothing happened in that joke at all. It's my favorite. I still read the psychology journals. There was a great study recently that found that the children being raised by same-sex couples are smarter and more well-adjusted than the average, not as well-dressed, kid. <laughs> Across the board, those kids do better, and they didn't know why. I'll tell you why. Probably because you can't accidentally adopt a kid. <laughs> Straight people accidentally have kids every day. Some of you drunks are gonna tonight. <laughs> and therefore raise them shitty. There's no gay whoops. <laughs> no one's ever woke up all hungover after one of their parties, tattered rainbows festooning the chandeliers. Rubbing out that headache, oh, that was a lot of rosé. Oh, shit. Wait a minute, did we do 50 pages of paperwork, talk to nine social workers, and write a check for $10,000 last night? No? Woo! Dodge that bullet. <laughs> I had a straight marriage once, that was gay. <laughs> Got a divorce, but you guys I think will be proud of me. Uh, in the divorce, I kept my last name. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. 
shit. Shit, validating my manhood. Uh, it really wasn't that bad a divorce. It went pretty smoothly. Probably for the same reason the marriage did not go smoothly. Uh, no money. <laughs> Nothing to fight over. I recommend being poor as shit when you break up. Here's exactly what happened. She got the couch. I got the car. Same value. <laughs> Easy to split, my friends. So you spend a years with somebody every day. You kind of meld into them a little bit, right? You just kind of become one person. Then boom, on your own, who are you? Kind of fun finding out. Do I like farmer's markets? I guess I'll find out on Wednesday at 2. Dancing with the Stars is a show I'm gonna watch alone in my underpants with a beer on my new couch. Hell no! <laughs> Turns out we hate that show. <laughs> Choking a lady in bed. That was her thing. <laughs> Some of you ladies are into the rough stuff. Good for you. I'm a mama's boy. <laughs> it's not really my thing. But I'm still doing that one. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Didn't help the depression at all. Anybody else clinically diagnosed with depression in here? Not just by ex-girlfriends, by actual doctors. Yeah, good for you. Let's see if you can tell which antidepressant I'm on. Based on my new catchphrase. Here we go. Zoloft to the races! <laughs> Nailed it. And yes, I am paying them to say that. $45 a month. Uh, do you know there's a blood test for depression now? It's, are you in a bathtub filling with your own? <laughs> I don't mind joking about depression. In fact, this is the only place I can talk about depression other than in a therapist's office. Because honestly, depression is the only illness that spreads by bringing it up. <laughs> you got cancer? You can talk about that at dinner. People don't leave the table with a tumor, right? You talk about my stuff, it's like putting out bad shrimp at a party. It's mood poisoning. So let's just, uh, if you don't laugh at these jokes, I might kill myself. So let's goose it up a little, huh, guys? <laughs> Lex's last show went a little weird. Don't know what happened. Crazy. We are gonna die, guys. I'm all out of grandmas, is uh, my point. All out of grandmas. I got to see my last grandma out of this earth because I was in Madison, Wisconsin, where she lived. The, that week, I was doing comedy there. So I got to see her go. We're gathered around my grandma's deathbed. My uncle says, hey, Dax, why don't you tell your grandma a joke? She can't come to the club this week. Too many hoses and shit. <laughs> It's like, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, here we go. She's in and out of consciousness. She locks eyes. I'm still spinning the Rolodex. All of a sudden, I go, hey, Grandma. I used to be a cowboy mime called Quiet Erp. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she licks her lips like old people do after a century of doling out wisdom. Processes this former tweet. I just... Thrown at her. She says these exact words. That is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> Falls back asleep. Those are the last words Grandma Jordan ever spoke to me. <laughs> that heckle <laughs> from my daddy mama. She died within the week. That having remained the stupidest thing she ever heard in her entire life. Can you imagine holding the title of number one grandson? Sad? Yes. Funny? Yes. But guys, I've cried enough. Spencer, you cry much? I'm about to fix you. You want to remember when you're crying, you see that tears are nothing more than old hopes. <laughs> Jumping out the top story window. 